Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at the Audio-Technica ATH CKR7TW True Wireless Earbuds. Now you can pick these up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on these, 250 bucks. Now they're available in two colors, black or gray. Now on a side note, that's the last time I'm saying that long ass name. For now on, we're calling these the Audio-Technica True Wireless Earbuds. Now, as usual, at the end of this video, I'm going to answer two questions. Number one, are these worth 250 bucks? And number two, how do they rank against my top five true wireless earbuds? Here's my list so far. Number one, the Sennheiser Momentums. Number two, the Bose SoundSport Freeze. Number three, the Jabra Elite 65T. Number four, the Master Dynamic MW07s. And number five, the Sony Extra Bass. How do the Audio Technicas rank? Let's find out. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. White Shoes. I love my white shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Audio Technica True Wireless Earbuds, 250 bucks. Let's go through the features real quick. You got the Audio Technica Connect app that's available on Android and iOS. Let's see, you got a 11 millimeter exclusive driver for high precision sound. You get 15 hours of total battery life. So that's six hours from the earbuds and an additional nine hours with the charging case. You got your music controls, play and pause. You got a microphone for answering it and ending phone calls. Here's your included accessories. You got a 3D loop, that's your wings, USB charging cable. You got extra small, small, medium, and large ear tips. Now here's your audio codex, Qualcomm APTX and ACC. Let's see anything else. Diaphragm with DLC coating, pure iron yoke, bass stabilizer, and you got a DAC and headphone amplifier. All of that for 250 bucks. Let's check these out. All right, no unboxing nights necessary. Let's check this presentation. Okay, so here we go. All right, inside the box, here's your charging case. Now the case on this is pretty big, giggity. Inside, you got right and left branding. Let's see, these open up nice and easy. You got a little power button right here, that three LEDs. That's how you're gonna check your battery life. And this is micro USB. All right, so no USB Type-C charging. Let's see what else you get. Okay. Nice little pamphlet right here. <laughs> Let's see. Now I'm a little bit under the weather still, y'all. Voice kind of low from screaming at the Super Bowl. Here's what it is. All right, so you got your usual books of shit. Pluck them, follow them to the side. This is going to be your wings. All right, so you got some wings. Now, this cable is really short. USB-A, micro USB. And let's see what these are. Here's your other ear tips. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now for the earbuds. Let's see if we can get these out of here. Now, shoes, <laughs> scoot, scoot a little bit. Now, they got these in here pretty deep. Insert your own giggity. I'm struggling to get them out. <laughs> bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. Up. I, okay, got, finally got them. And that was a little workout. Here's your earbuds. Now, these are a little bit on the big side. They kind of look like the bows. Let's see, you got left and right branding. There's your gold pins. Let's see, you got a multifunctional button on the top of each one. All right, so each earbud has a multifunctional button. Now, I went with the black color. We're going to test these out, see how they fit, and see how they look. All right, let's drop them in the charging case. Okay, so this one is the right and the left. Let's make sure. Oh, that's left. <laughs> oh, okay, left and right. Okay, what am I doing? Hold up, hold up. All right, this is the right one. And this is the left. Okay, it just looked like this piece was supposed to go in the bottom. They just trolled me. Okay, let's see if we got any juice on these. No juice. All right, so I'm going to plug these in. Let me grab a phone. We'll pair them up. Then we'll go through all the tests. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so this is what's going to look like in the charging case. You see, you got flashing LEDs. LED on the front flashing. Let's let these charge up. 
All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I got these all paired up, so now let's test them out. Now for the pairing process, real simple. Once you take these out of the case, they're automatically gonna turn on and go to pairing mode, go to your phone's Bluetooth menu, and select the Audio Technicas. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is download the app. Now let me show you what that looks like. All right, so here's the Audio Technica Connect app. Now like I said, you could download this on Android or iOS. Now once you open this up, this is gonna give you access to all of the features, and let's go through them real quick. Now you got your product locator. Just in case you lose your earbuds, you can hit this, click on the earbuds, and it'll show you the last place on the map that your earbuds was powered up at. That's a nice little feature. Now you got your fax, your user manual, inquiries, software, and application information. Now if you click on the headphones, you got different features. So here's your audio codex, you can switch that to auto, AAC, or SBC. We'll leave it on auto. You got your key assigned. Now I'm gonna leave this at stock. On the left earbud, you tap it once, that's volume up. Tap it twice, volume down. On the right earbud, tap it once, that's play and pause, answer and end phone calls. Tap it twice to skip songs. Tap it three times to reverse tracks. You can swap these if you want. You got your voice prompts, we'll leave that on. You got a quick guide and some more product information. Now you also got your battery percentage. There's your codex, you got your volume, and whatever song you was playing, you can skip that or pause it from the bottom. Now let's throw these in the ears and see how they look. All right, so I just put them in my ears. Now on the side note, I'm using these without the included wings. It's a nice, tight, comfortable fit. Let me do the head shake test. Okay, they didn't move around at all, so you could definitely wear these in the gym. Now let me show you what they look like. A little bit on the big side, similar to the Bose, but not gigantic. This is what they're gonna look like in your ears. All right, let me get some music and we'll do a little sound test. All right, so I got the perfect song queued up to test earbuds. We got Lean On featuring Mo and DJ Snake. Now this song got mad bass, nice mids, and nice highs. All right, here we go, a little karaoke on deck, one tap for play and pause, max volume, here we go. Okay, <laughs> nice and loud so far. Crystal clear instruments, here we go. Do you recall, not long ago, we would walk on the sidewalk. Innocent, remember, all we did was care for each other. But the night was warm, we were bold and young. All around, the wind blows, we would only hold on to let go. Blow a kiss. Hold up, I gotta stand up. Oh, we need somebody to lean on. Blow a kiss. Fire gun. We need somebody to lean on. Okay, I'm waiting for that drop. Something to lean on. Blow a kiss. Fire gun. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Woo! <laughs> all, right, all right, let me sit back down. Let me come back. Hold up. Hold up. Woo! Woo! All right. <laughs> All right, now I don't want to overhype these, but these sound incredible. All right, crystal clear. That bass just dropped. When y'all hear me stand up, that means it's about to go down. It's not just the song. Oh, All right, let me calm down. Let me calm down. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Let me pause the video. I'm going to play some different genres of music, and I'll get back in a second and let you know what I think. All right, real quick. Now, while that sound is still fresh in my head, let me do a quick comparison against the Sennheisers, my favorite ones. Here we go. Same song, max volume. Okay, let me get a little bass drop. These Sennheisers are amazing. The clarity is killing me. But the day was strong, we were bold and young. All right, here we go. Let me wait for that bass drop. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, hold up, hold up. All right, hold up. Damn, bro. Damn. Everybody's asking me, are these Sennheisers really my favorites and are they really worth 300 bucks? The answer is yes, it's obvious. Now, I just took off the Audio Technicas. Don't get me wrong. The Audio Technicas sound amazing. But after I just took those off, put the Sennheisers in, you could hear the difference. 
You could easily hear the difference. The bass is just harder and cleaner. They're a little bit louder. It's crazy. All right, let me test the Audio Technicas with some other songs. All right, so now let's check the multifunctional buttons. On the left earbud, that's volume up and down. So one tap for volume up. All right, you see it going up. Double tap to lower the volume. Okay, that works fine. Now the right earbud, one tap for play and pause. Okay, no problems. Double tap to rewind. And triple tap to skip to the next song. Okay, that works fine. Let's do double tap again. No problems with that. Now, one thing I just noticed, you can't activate your Siri or your Google Now. All right, so now let's check the call quality. Got a new 24-hour diner. Let's find out what time they close. Okay. Audio Technicas. Let's get max volume. Uh-oh. Only hearing it. sound out of one ear. Yeah, hi. What time you guys close tonight? 24-7. All right, you guys deliver uh, to Jamaica, Queens. All right, cool. Okay. Now, this is a major downside to these earbuds. You only hear sound out of the right earbud. Let me just double check. Let me make another quick phone call. I got to check that one more time. Make sure that wasn't a fluke. Let's call our Jack's Diner. All right. We got max volume. Yep. Sound only ringing out of the right earbud. I am not feeling that at all. All right, so let's check lag latency. All right, so now let's check for the lag latency. And what I mean by that is, when you're watching a video, is there any delay from the person's lips to what you hear? Now, I'm going to try to test it the same way. I'm going to take one earbud out and put it right next to my mic. All right, so we got Larry David. Here we go. Oh, it's a lot of delay on this one. Oh, that's almost a full second delay. I hope y'all can hear this. Yeah, nah. All right. Whew. All right, so far, that's two negatives on these earbuds. The sound quality is great, but when you're making a phone call, you're only gonna hear sound out of the right ear, and it's a nice one second delay when you're watching your videos. What else? All right, so now let's try the one earbud test. Can you listen to music from one earbud at a time? All right, so I got the music playing. I'm gonna take out the left earbud. Let's put it in the charging case. Music is still playing out of the right. All right, so I like that. Now I'm going to put the left one back in. Let's wait for it to connect. All right, it just connected. Now I'm going to take out the right earbud. The music is still playing. But let's try putting the right one in the case. Turned off. All right, hit the music again. Back off. All right, so basically if you want to listen to one earbud at a time, don't put it in the case. But if you want to charge and listen to one at a time, you can only listen to the right earbud. All right, so before I wrap this up, I'm going to do a quick sound comparison against the Bose SoundSport Free. All right, so I just did a sound comparison with the Audio Technicas versus the Bose SoundSport Freeze, and I got to keep it 100% honest with y'all. The Bose sound way better. Easily. All right, so let's wrap this up. Overall. On a scale of 1 to 10, the Audio Technica, and I'll say it one more time, the ATH CKR7TWs, these are a go. Now, are they a major go? No. Are they a double major go? No. And are they a triple major go? Hell no. These is a go. And what do I mean by that? If I had to give it an actual number, I'd rate these a 6. All right, day I. D-E-Y, day I. 250 bucks, that's a no for me, dog. There's a couple of things about these earbuds that I don't like, and let's run through them real quick. Number one, the price. 
Let's all say it together. The price is too goddamn high. All right, Audio Technica, calm down. Now, I understand all y'all punk-ass audiophiles. Y'all had high hopes for these. I'm sorry I got to rain on the parade. These ain't it, chief. All right, these are not worth 250 bucks, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. Next, no IP rating. Now, at 250 bucks, you mean to tell me these aren't sweat-proof, aren't splash-proof, you can't submerge them, you can't get them wet? That's an epic fail. Number three, no EQ on the app. Now, they went through all of that trouble to give you an app. Why didn't they add an EQ? I'm not feeling that at all. Next, speaking of the app, no ambient sound pass-through technology. What does that mean? So if you're at work, you're at the gym, you're playing your music, and somebody starts talking to you, you're going to have to pause the music or take the earbuds out. No ambient sound mode. Not feeling that. Next. Now, this is kind of petty. No USB Type-C. Again, for 250 bucks, that should be the standard. Next. Lag latency. Now, this is a full second delay. It's going to be hard to watch a video using these earbuds. Now, on a side note, I tried these with the iPhone. I tried these with the Galaxy. The lag is there. And lastly, now this is my biggest gripe. Phone calls only play out of one ear. Now, that's trash. For 250 bucks, if I'm sitting in the car and I'm listening to music and I get a phone call, the sound is only going to come out of one ear. Now, that's kind of whack if you got your earbuds in and somebody's talking. One ear feels like it's plugged up and the other ear has the voice. That's trash. I, you, you're not going to like that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, put 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 a dead earbud in one ear and a regular earbud in the other one and talk on the phone for a couple of minutes and see how annoying that is. Now, there is some things that I do like. Number one, the build quality. The build quality is pretty good. All right? It doesn't feel like cheap plastic materials. I like it. All right? It doesn't feel cheap at all. Next, the look. They do look cool. You've seen the picture for yourself. A little bit on the big side, but they look good. I like the fact that they went with all one color. All right, instead of putting silver trim and all of that, nice looking size, stealthy earbuds. Next, the fit. Now, that's one thing I will say. I didn't even try the wings. I didn't try any different size ear chips because I didn't need them. The fit on these is excellent. Perfect for the gym. Now, if you're a runner or you're doing some extracurricular activities, put the wings in. All right, <laughs> put the wings in, they'll stay in even better. But for what I was doing just now, perfect fit. Next, now even though they shortchanged us with the app features, they did add a cool one, Find My Buds. And that's cool if you got a cat or you just got butterfingers and you're always misplacing your stuff, you can easily find the last place you had your buds. Next, battery life. Now battery life on this is pretty good. Six hours on one charge plus an additional nine hours. I can't complain about that at all. Lastly, now this is the best thing about these earbuds, in my opinion, the sound quality. The sound quality is great. Now look, if you got a set of AirPods and you never heard any other true wireless earbuds, these will literally blow you away. All right, you're going to think these are the best in the world. Now I'm kind of spoiled because I got a whole bunch of other ones, so I can clearly say that these ain't the best, but the sound quality is great. They get loud, all right, volume levels, nice and loud. The bass is deep, rich, and clean. All right, no muddy bass, even at max volume. You got your mids and your highs. I just wish they had an, uh, an EQ, but the sound quality on these is pretty good. Pretty good. Now, let me answer those two questions that I asked at the beginning of the video. Number one, are these worth 250 bucks? And the answer is no. Now, I would be happy spending 150 for these, even max out at 200, but I wouldn't recommend spending one penny more than 150 bucks for these. If you're gonna spend 200, now I just did a little side-by-side -side test, trust me when I tell you, get the bows. I right, get the bows for 200 bucks, save that 50. Now I understand you wanna be a douchebag and tell all your friends, or oh, I'm an audiophile, I only wear Audio Technica, I understand that, but you're gonna be wasting 50 bucks. And the last question, how do these rank in my top five true wireless earbuds. Did they crack the top five? And the answer is no. My favorite ones are still number one, the Sennheisers. Number two, the Bose. Number three, the Jabras. Number four, the Master Dynamics. And number five, the Sony Extra Bass. Now, here's one thing I will say about the Sony Extra Bass. These don't look the best. <laughs> These are probably the ugliest ones that I got. 
But these have the most bass out of any of the earbuds that I got on deck. Anyway, this is the Audio Technica. I'll say it one more time. The ATH CKR 70Ws on a scale of 1 to 10, day I. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Raycon X90 Titan True Wireless Earphones.